Hi, DG Dino here from Jinxta Games, and this tutorial is about how to install Source Tree and connect this to GitHub to use this for the ecosystem and connect your repositories. Start by downloading this and then start installing. Uh, yeah, place it somewhere you want to place this. Um, well, installing shouldn't be too hard for you. And just wait until it's done and launch this. Then first thing you have to agree and you can help improve or not. And then you need to log in with your account. If you don't have account, you can make your account here. And once you've done that, you can log in here. Registration complete. Now, uh, you can skip set, set up, but it's more easy to do this here. So I'm going to connect my GitHub here and DJ Dino and then my password. And then it's going to download a version control system. Not exactly what it does, but what I know is it downloads your repository list and some other stuff, I think. And once it's done, you can press continue and you can connect your first repository. So I'm going to connect this one and I'm going to get my destination path. And I think I still have stuff in here. So uh, yeah, I'm going to delete these first. Okay. So now I'm going to make a new folder, call this U5, select folder, and now it's going to place this repository into this folder. And just press continue. And when it's done cloning, you will see here all the custom actions and stuff. And now this folder from the repository is cloned. Okay. Uh, do you have SH key? No, I don't. Okay. And this is now your first uh, repository. But we have more than one, so we want to make more. So I'm going to press clone. And I can get the source path. If I have my GitHub already connected, I can find them here. Or, so I'll just show this, press OK, and I get this URL. Or I can go to the website and go to the repository that I want to clone. And I'll just copy paste this and place this here. And both should work. Oh, okay. Um, let's close this. Then I'm going to get my destination path and go to here, make a new folder, call this U3 or whatever you want to call it, and press clone. And now it's going to clone also this one. And I'll show you here, U3. And once it's done, you will get the list here. So as you can see, there is no folder for custom actions as we have moved all the actions from U3 to U4 because uh, Playmaker is also a stop to support uh, U3. So that's why we've updated all the actions from U3 and play, uh, moved them to U4. 
So if you have actions that is still on U3, please update them and place them in the Unity 4 folder. Okay. So now we got these two and you have to do that for the other ones also for U4 and stuff, but you get it now. So I think you can do that yourself now. Next, I want to add some actions. So I have my actions here and I have a mouse loop 4D that doesn't exist. It's just a sample uh, to use this. And I want to place this in the Unity 5 folder into input. So this is just on my computer and I'll just copy paste this here. And now I go to the source tree. And as you can see, there is a question mark here now. So what I do, if there is nothing, you can also press a five to, to refresh. But normally it should already notice this. Then I can go to file status. And as I can see, I have this file that has, uh, well, it's new or changed. So I, I think this is different when depending on uh, uh, if it's new or changed. And what I have to do now is, um, first of all, you make a comment and uh, test for video. And now I can stage this up. Well, I can stage this up already before I do this. And now I can commit this. Um, I can also turn on push changes immediately, immediately, then it will push immediately also to the website. Or if it's not on, I just commit. And now you can see it says that you can push something up. And now it's pushing this to the website. And I will show you here, um, let's go back to U5 assets, custom actions, input, and now it's here. Now, if I change something, so I have my action here and I just change something in here. As you can see, it noticed that something has changed to this file. So again, you can stage this now and uh, make a comment and commit this and push this or if you check this, it will push automatically. And this is the way that you can upload your actions. And also if you made something wrong, you can also delete this and even that should show. And I'll just show you also here that the space is here. It has changed. And now if I delete this, and I'll push immediately for video. and stage this first and commit. And now you can see there is no push. And if I refresh this, you can see that this is changed. And now I'm gonna still do something else and Take another one here and place this here. And 
right so this is directly on the website to to add something uh, I didn't put any com uh, comments I should have done that and I think I need to fetch all to get changes also yeah so now you can see there is changes so I can pull this change and you will see that this one has been changed and is here um, if you get an error sometimes when you when you push and uh, then you should fetch first and pull the things that has changed and afterwards you can push um, still one more thing um, let me see so I need to remove this so I remove this now and then I'm gonna add D and stage this for video and I'm gonna commit and I'm gonna push and as you can see now it gives an error and um, why give it, it gives an error because things has changed on the website so what you should do is first fetch everything and then there is a pull and pull this and now you can push So that's when you have an error. You should fetch first and then push things. Uh, also, if you have something with the same name, something changed, and there is also something changed on the website, it will give also an error. So then you could uh, remove first that file and pull it first, and then you can see what has changed. And then you can update it and pull it back up or push it back up. Uh, uh so oh, okay and i'm gonna refresh this and as you can see the the one is removed and this one has been added and i'll just remove this still one more time because i don't need this stage it and for video to Tutorial. Um, there are more uh, tutorials about Source Tree on the on YouTube. So if you want more information for this, you can look around there. Uh, this is just for use in the ecosystem. And I hope this helped you out and understand how to use this. Especially when you have more uh, items, it's better that you can do this with the Source Tree. Plus, you will have all the actions on your computer. So if ever you're offline, you can still look for uh, actions in those folders. So I hope this helped out and thank you for watching. Bye bye.